They say that once upon a time there was a golden age in which everybody knew their place and worth. God was in his heaven, Queen Victoria on her throne, and everybody else in a Dickens novel. I think you get the picture. In this genteel age, a gentle couple, Mr. and Mrs. Severin, took up residence at Brixton Farm in the parish of Larne. Yeah. There to be waited on by a veritable army of dedicated and watchful natives. Good evening. Oh, hello, hello. And everything in the garden was lovely. Until the lady of the house, Mrs. Severn, mysteriously fell ill and died. Now, the husband, Mr. Severn, was inconsolable. <coughs> so much so that after a decent and prudent period of about a week or so, he took comfort in the companionship of a young servant girl, Rebecca Uphill. Now, so... Effective of Sweet Becky's ministrations that he felt it was no more than good sense to move her into the big house that she could continue her good offices more effectively. Now, Larn was and is a small place and people will gossip to pass the time and inevitably draw conclusions until Sweet Becky herself mysteriously fell ill and died. It was also noticed that pigs fed scraps from the master's table, mysteriously fell ill and also died. Now, suspicions aroused and investigation was made, arsenic found, and the cook, Elizabeth Gibb, charged with murder. The redoubtable Bessie undoubtedly had the means the mo and the opportunity, but the motive, and so the case came to trial. Men of good standing in the community Master, minister, medical practitioner were called to the witness stand. They told stories, ventured opinions as fact to the utter bewilderment of judge and jury. For in that golden age, to question the word of a gentleman was, and under oath was beyond the scope of the common man. And so, after much rancour, a verdict came in, not guilty. But this left a sour taste in the mouths of the uh, local people. Come on, in mob. The local people. <laughs> I mean, what is justice if nobody swings at the end of a rope? And if the law is seen to be a mockery, maybe the only justice possible, the only protest possible, is mock justice. And so. Three nights, those local people gathered outside the cook's lodgings on Newbridge Road, just down the road there by the park, and waited and watched in silence as they hung and burned her in effigy. And after those three awful nights, Elizabeth Gibb mounted a coach to leave Larne forever. But as she departed, she was heard to mutter to herself over and over again, the devil's in the beer.